Hey, Sister Rita, it's Jessica Jarris here. Welcome back to the Sister Rita Club. So I realized I haven't actually done a full flip through on this prayer Bible. So I know that you've been tabbing with me all of the different themes, and I actually still have themes to tab out. So this is kind of a work in progress. But I thought that I would give you all a flip through and share with you what I have done so far. All of the themes are listed in the community tab, so you can take a look at that and you'll see all of the Bible verses. But we'll go ahead and get started. So I did a video on the um, front cover of this Bible. just kind of wanted to share through that. I love seeing all of you, Sister Rita's, how you've decorated. It's so personable, and this is what motivates me. So I, um, I'm definitely motivated by seeing God answer my prayers, for sure, and prayer is definitely communion with God, and it's one way in which we build our relationship with Him, and so that's motivating. But it's also so motivating to build out your front uh, pages, and it helps you to stay focused on what you're praying over. So join the Sister Rita Club on Facebook and you're going to see lots of really cool prayer Bibles. And you all, like I've said before, you are way more creative and do a much better job than I do um, in terms of decorating your prayer Bible. But um, that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that we are in the prayer Bible actually praying. But um, you'll love the ideas that you see. So let me share with you in this flip through I put a picture of my family from um, our beach trip in Florida. I loved these little Bible, not Bible verses, these little uh, stickers to get me motivated when praying my Bible verses. Stay fearless, focused, and fierce. And I think that that really matches with the theme of prayer. People to pray for. So I'm praying for my husband, my children, and then I really outlined like what I'm praying over for them this year. And I also have a secret prayer that I'm going to add. I'll do another video soon on that. So you'll see what that's all about. But I also have some bold prayers this year, and these are really important to me. And I think it's important that you categorize or, um, chronicle or, or like you stamp what your bold prayers are in your prayer Bible. Because when I when you go back years later, so I might keep this Bible, I will. And when I go back years later, I will um, be like, oh my gosh, God answered that prayer. My son really surrendered his life to Christ in 2024. Or wow, um, God held my job. Like I had job stability or um, my job didn't pan out, but God gave me a new one without skipping a beat in 2024. And we were able to pay off, you know, X amount of dollars on my student loan debt. And so that was really helpful. So you're going to see God answer your prayer requests. So make sure that you write out your bold prayers. And then, um, and then I have other ones. So we have a small group at our church and I want us to, I want everyone in the life group, including myself and my husband to grow spiritually. And um, I'm praying for family members for their salvation, our country, missionaries, the church. So make sure you build that out. Now, if you have um, a friend that says that she's sick and she's like, pray for me, I'm sick. I have a, a terrible cold. I have COVID. Then you would write that down here and you could stick it in your prayer Bible. So when you open it up, you're praying for her. So that way it's, um, it's not a prayer that will last all year, but it's very important and you've promised that you're going to pray for her. So you want to do that. Um, so that's an idea for you, Sister Rita's. Um, wanted to explain too, you can add as many themes as you want in your prayer Bible and I'll do a Q and A to kind of give you, um, some more details and answering those questions. So there's no limit to how many prayer Bible themes that you want, but I do want to specify, and I'm still working on these, right? But so whatever you have, this on your cover. That's what you're going to want to make sure your themes are for, right? So for example, if you're praying, if it, let's say you're praying for, um, you know, financial freedom for forgiveness. And let's say you're praying for, um, for joy. Okay. Then you're going to want to make sure that you have a tab on forgiveness, a tab on finances and a tab on joy. So if you have a tab on purity, self-control, and um, 
and Israel, that doesn't, uh, that those prayers aren't directly related to those bold prayers that you're adding here. So they're not bad. They're just not related to here. So make sure if these are your bold prayers, make sure whatever those bold prayers are, that in addition to the other themes you have, you definitely have a theme that's going to translate and correlate to that bold prayer. If that makes sense. So um, and then I just added these little stickers here and some washi tape, nothing fancy, but I love this verse as well. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. So we'll just kind of walk through this. This was um, one tab made in God's image that I absolutely, I love this tab because these are the tabs. Um, this is treasured by God. This is how, um, the best way to describe it is this is, the tab of like what God says about you. And I just really wanted to have that tab. It's like your identity in God. Maybe that's the best way of saying it. Here's another one, treasured by God. And I, of course, I've done a video on all of these themes that you're going to see, but that's a really good tab if you have someone in your family that you know that's struggling with self-esteem. You can pray over these tab. You can use that for these tabs. It's a great reminder for you. Um, God is taking care of me. That's one of the identities. So that's a really unique tab too. Um, and uh, you are God's special creation. And that's why I love these prayer Bibles is you can never go wrong with a theme. There's always going to be a great Bible verse that is a great, great verse to pray over that. Jesus gives you true joy. So I really liked this theme because I thought it would be really great to pray over my children and for myself. Jesus offers a new life. And if you're finding somebody that is struggling with identity, self-esteem, confidence, this is a, even purpose, this is a great, um, a great tab to have. You are an heir of God. So that is all on these glitter tabs. And then I will move on to this chevron tab. This is on purpose. So you can see I've got so I will then go through here and find my next chevron tab right up here. I see it. So I've got one on purpose. There you go. So I like that theme as well. Let's see what else. What are my other goodies in here? I've got God's attributes. This is one of the first themes that I will start in praying. And I think that that's really important to add attributes. You could also call it worship. Um, it's really just being able to acknowledge God for who he is. And it's a great way of praising him. You could also just tab it as praise. Um, so attributes is just one way of phrasing it. But um, however you want to phrase it, you're going to see pencil mark. My daughter has had fun in my Bible. So you can phrase it however you want, but attributes is really good. And I think about the um, Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. So uh, make sure that you have some form of a tab on God's attributes or praise or worship, however you want to phrase it. So we've got that tab. We've already talked about that one. We've got honesty. So that's a really important tab. And um, here are some other ones that I have on honesty. That's really good if you have a teenager in your house. This is something that I've been praying over for my son, um, just to make sure that we're praying over his honesty. Um, nothing really else to say about that one. Then I've got two different tabs on this. So you're gonna find when you really build out your Bible, you're gonna have a page where you're gonna have more than two tabs. So I've got faithfulness and thoughts. And the reason why I chose thoughts is because it's so important to manage our thought life. And so how we're thinking is so important. So that that's a great tab in starting your day, right? Or let's say you are all of a sudden in a terrible mood and you're like, why do I feel this way? Why, are, why am I thinking this way? Turn to this tab and start going through that. I also think faithfulness is so important because sometimes when we have anxiety and we feel insecure, well, I will um, go through the faithfulness tabs and I'm like, wow, I really don't need to be insecure or feel anxious because God has always been faithful for me. So those are some examples for you. So we'll look back in here. So I found this cute little... Um, tab. And this was actually from Bible um, 
tabs. Like if you were to um, tab the books of the Bible, these were some extra ones. So I used that and that's what I built out for faithfulness. And um, let's see, then this blue one, which was thoughts. I'll give you an example. Here's another one for thoughts. You uh, put me on trial, Lord, and, and cross-examine and test my motives and my heart. So let me, let me give you another example for thoughts. Here is another one on thoughts, and I've got it right up here in blue. All right, so now what we're going to do is move on. We already did the gold attributes, and I have a daily prayer tab. This is a great tab if you just don't know what to pray. You might just not be really in the mood to pray I know that sounds bad, but we've all experienced that. Or you might just be like, I don't, I just, I've been praying the same prayer every day. I don't know what else to pray. Well, just pray your daily prayer. A daily prayer is something that you can pray every day. It's my purple polka dot tab. And you see, I have the Psalm. Um, you'll find a lot of great daily prayers in the Psalms. So let's see if I can find another good one in here. And the daily prayer is kind of like the attributes. You could totally build that out. Here's the daily prayer. Oh, I'm sorry. My daily prayers are all my polka dots. So there's another one. All right. So let's go back. I want to make sure I don't miss any tabs for you, Sister Rita's. Okay. This one is a crazy amount of tabs. So I have walking with God and I have parenting and um, one of these is over here. And then I have the children obey. So lots of different colors on here. And that's one thing that I love about the tabs is you can always have different, different textures and it makes your Bible look interesting. So we'll go to this other um, tab right here, this animal print. And you can see that um, this is the verse that I have for parenting. Parenting is obviously a great tab if you have kids. And there's my verse. All right. And then this little green washi tape right here. That's another great option if you don't have any more tabs. Just use washi tape. So I've got tons of it. You just peel it off and flip it over and you can create your own tab. So this is walking with God. Walking with God. And there you go. So let me see if I can give you another one. There you go. And I could have actually probably written walking with God there, but I, I'll know what it is as I'm going through it. And here is my green tab. And I've driven, drew an arrow because I just have so much going on on that one. All right, so let's go back. And you can have just one tab for each one. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So... All right, so where were we? We've got, what other tabs do I have on here? We're still way back here, oh my goodness. All right, so we've got this gold one. This is my Enjoying Life tab. This is another good daily prayer. Um, enjoying Life. My word of the year is joy, and so I have joy as a tab, but the enjoying life tab is also, um, that's really good that with joy. So, I love the enjoying life. All right. Then, what else do we have here? It's like so fun to just pray through all of these. All right, this is light in the world. And this is another good tab if you're praying for somebody to come to know the Lord. Here's light in the world. You can see that. That's the verse that's in the front of the Bible. Light of the world. Right? And then we'll move right along. What else do we have here? All right, this is protection. So that's really good if you want to pray for protection against other people, um, for our country. 
I've got a tab up here. I think I might have missed that one. Protection. All right. So then we have a tab on, this is the daily prayer that we're passing this polka dot. And then we've got a tab on forgiveness. So I put forgiveness because when you were looking at the daily, um, our daily prayer, the Lord's prayer, um, that's obviously God tells us to pray over forgiveness. So I've made sure to include that. And then this comes to joy. This is my joy tab, which is going to be my word of the year. And I only have like three or four tabs in here. So for joy. So, but that is what, what that one looks like. We'll, we'll go through that as we see it. And let's see, we've already talked about faithfulness, um, protection. This yellow tab is for a softened heart. And you can see that too, because when I go to this one, this yellow, it's for the softened heart. So you can have lots of different ways to make tabs. We have the orange one for Israel. And somebody always said, said to me, well, what happens if you don't have a um, legend, like in the front where you have like, okay, orange is my tab here and that's on anger. And so every time I know that, well, sometimes I'll just go through and the more you pray, the more you get familiar with what each tab is. But also sometimes I'll just kind of flip through it and just pray whatever I, I, I feel led to pray. So that doesn't really bother me at all. I actually think it kind of adds some flavor and, and fun to it. So here's favor. That's good to pray over for your family and friends with their job, have favor in their job, have favor with other people. Um, that's really important. We've already talked about all of those tabs. Let's see, this is stuck. Okay, and we're just moving right along. I wanted to share with you this purple one, um, this purple tab. I don't even have labeled right now. Well, I will have to go through and label that. That one, um, I think this, this purple one is for my favorite verses. Let me go through. So... And that's the thing is, if you miss it, you're just like, well, you know what? I'm going to pray this first. God wants me to pray that. So that's what this one is, is it's my favorite, uh, favorite verses. And then we have the daily prayer attributes. We talked through that. Light of the world. Talked about attributes. This is the parenting. All right, we have purpose, which is this chevron one. All right, these pink one, I think this is a new one. This is on anger. And you can see my tab here. So this purple one is my favorite verse. And here's one of my favorite verses. All right, we talked about anger and honesty. My daughter did a favorite verse in her prayer Bible. I thought that was sweet. I think we've pretty much gone through all of our tabs, Sister Rita's. We did protection, daily prayer attributes. I think that's it. I might not have done this one yet. This is the peace tab. So that was sweet. Uh, this was another one of my joy tabs. I said I was didn't have a, too many of those. I have two of these, these kinds of tabs. So that's that. Hopefully that kind of gave you a little bit more of an idea on what I do and how you can put together your prayer Bible. And you don't have to be um, really too concerned. You just tap it and just enjoy flipping through it and pray as you go. And sometimes I will come to my Bible and I'll just flip. And I'll be like, you know what, I'm going to pray over forgiveness. And then I don't necessarily go to the next white tab. I might just I literally might just go from the front and just kind of flip back and forth like this and just pray these verses and how they relate in my life. And I'll see the tab and pray that. And that's a great way to do to go through your prayer Bible as well. So 
comment below. Let me know what some of your favorite themes are that you're going through right now and how um, you're enjoying your prayer Bible. And make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I love you, Sister Ritas. Bye.